Hey guys, welcome back. We got Arthur here. <laughs> Just, you know. Hanging out. Upstanding citizen. It's cool. <laughs> Hanging out. All right. Nothing We're going to go do some there. story. Although I'm, I am worried that... How long's my hair? Is it okay? It's you okay. literally just got it all cut. Right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Let's go do a story. Fraser was like this when he actually had hair too. What'd you say? When you actually had hair, you were always so worried about it, like brushing that pompadour over. <laughs> Is there too much hair on my head? Give me. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I gave him 25 cents on what I received. I ain't asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here mm. in the dirt. <sighs> oh, he's done talking? All right. That was the end of his thought. What'd I get? Gave you a curse? You cursed me? Is gin popular in Japan? I'm not sure. I don't know. They got it. Yeah. I'm just not sure. They like spirits. They like bars. They like nice things. They appreciate craftsmanship and brands that like are respected. Yeah. But at the same time, they're not hoity-toity about it either. They're like, you know, they're not snobs, a lot of them. I need to oh, know man. about Bronte. Gin and tonics. Mm, those are good. Because we're trying to find the kid, right? Oh, yeah. Excuse me. I'm trying to find a man named Bronte. You know the name? Didn't Bronte? Dutch say to be... No, I don't like, think so. Sorry. Okay, thanks. On the down low about it? Like, don't go around just saying his name? Mm, I don't remember that. I'm pretty sure he said be subtle. Because who knows what kind of, like, suspicion we're going to raise. Hey there. You ever heard of a man? called Angelo Bronte. Hmm, nope. But fancy names like that? Maybe try the Bastille Saloon. <laughs> I was okay. at the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Okay, thank you. So Laura's getting a Red Dead 2 tattoo today. Yeah, what the fuck? A hummingbird sage tattooed on her arm. That's something we don't get yet. It's your first tattoo and it's about Red Dead? That's exciting. My first tattoo is a book. A character in a book. My first and only tattoo. This game means a lot to Lore. I don't think so. I don't think she's even played it. She just like... pretends to like it. So how old were you, Lore, when you played the first Red Dead? Or was it recently? It's a plant you can collect. It's not something that we don't know about yet. That's kind of fun. You seem full of joys of spring, miss. Thank you. Be well now. See you around. <laughs> you seem to be full of the joys of spring. I want to say that to a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Just randomly. Good morning. They'd fall head over heels in love. It's so poetic. It's a real beautiful country around this area. Really? Well, believe me to it. Stay safe. I'll go to hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm Arthur Morgan. You don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Oh, really? Your first exposure was a, a song? Oh! Stick him up, cowboy. You were right. We should have been careful. Ah, <laughs> oh, snap! Yeah, funny, Is this where we are now, Dutch? So Joking cool. around? Kids oh, missing? Okay, <laughs> <We're> just... <laughs> Sean's dead. Sean's it's dead. It's cool. Very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? 
I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. But from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So I should I'm loving this stuff. I think so. Like, I unironically. I think Dutch loves it. You know me? I'll I think he's into it. Yeah. Just like the mustache, unironically <laughs> loving the top hat. I think it looks great on him. Uh oh. Uh. Hello. Funny you should say that. Oh, well, yeah, you know how it is. I told him, I said, that's the state of the Lord for you. America's dirty little French seat. <laughs> you just stacking casual? Yeah. I have a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably run back to breaking with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that. Now, how can I help? They look like a whiskey man. Hmm. It'd be fun to be a good bartender. For a whiskey? Oh, that's a real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. <sighs> Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. That was me. Mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's that? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look. I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Tell him. Mm. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, with the Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how to get. <laughs> you good oh, voice. Hey, Fred, yeah. You'll be careful now. Oh. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. This is that famous painting. Dogs playing poker? Yeah. Pretty perfect. I feel like you can afford better. <laughs> uh, bath, rent room. Oh, I can have a bath here? Oh, shit, yeah. Maybe later after he's not being mad at me. When uh, oh, Gravel the... came in ooh, to this glass. scene, ooh, cool. Never drink from a ghost <laughs> class. Ghost. <gasps> Did you see glass. the ghost apples? No. Go ahead with what you're gonna say. Um, when Gravel played this, she was head to toe covered in mud. So the fact that everyone stopped and looked was uh, very great. appropriate. Ghost apples. Ghost apples. What the fuck are those? I don't know what happens, how it happens. That's crazy. An early inside? frost, like a fucked up frost or something. Well, I guess the apples. No, yeah. How, where'd the apple go? Ice forms on rotting apples. As the apples decay, they slide down and out of the ice. Yeah. What? That doesn't make sense to That's me. That's crazy. Like, how did they do it? How did they get out of the ice? Like, it would just settle in the bottom and just be there in the bottom. It wouldn't get out cleanly, I feel like. I don't know how it did it so cleanly. Yeah. That is odd that it's so... Where the seeds perfect. go. How'd they get out so perfect? There must be, like... They must be showing it in a way that it looks like it's a solid with no breaks in it. But there's probably a big hole in the There's back. a hole? Yeah. Like, a big okay. hole. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, they make it seem as though it's like a perfect glass sphere, and that's what makes it confusing. Dude. But yeah, it is pretty cool though, right? 
Ghost apples. That's neat. Is what I named them. And then everybody started Really? Writing articles about it. You heard yeah. it here first. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Nature just has ways to work. About that bartender. Yes. And how cool it is just to be like, you look like a whiskey man. Mm. That happens a lot here in Japan. If we spoke Japanese, we probably would notice it more, but like a personable bartender is the thing here. Really? Yeah. And they like know, like, they all could of guess these, what I drink? <laughs> these micro bars. It's yeah. all about like most places, like the bartender is charismatic. That's just why yeah, people I didn't know drink that. at these places. Yeah, you go for They're, kind of the one-on-one -on -one yeah. chatter with. Some people just unload on them, just want to talk to somebody. And it's not even like a, an attractive girl or anything like that. It's often just a person who's good at talking. Yeah. And they're usually like four seats at the bar, five. Like Obasan. Okay, yeah. Okinawa Obasans. We went to this one bar where this this woman <laughs> who saw us, <laughs> foreigners come in and didn't look too happy about she it. Did but not look happy. We did have a Japanese friend with us who was able to like chatter up and tell us that we're Canadian. Surprisingly, not Yusuke this time. Yeah, it wasn't Yusuke that time, but like he was telling her all about how much we love Japan and stuff, and boy, did she warm up to us. Yeah. She loved us by the end. She like friggin' adored us. She said that her son has like. She was telling us the place where she we can stay yeah, for cheap. Yeah, on this like crazy island that's it's kind of hard to get like reservations for. Yeah. There's like one bed and breakfast type thing there. And she's like, my son has a place, you guys. The only way you can get in is if you come here and you talk to me, basically. Yeah, you'll only get to be there if <laughs> you like, know me. Sweet. Yeah. Anyways, on that topic, I swear to God, she one day charismatic. I'm going to like, we will probably run a restaurant or a bar just for the fun of it here in Japan. That'd be so fun. It's not to make money. If I break even, I'm happy. Yeah. Just to have a hangout where we just have people come in and relax and I think it would be great. Yeah. Ring on your finger and turn it three times? Yes. And then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, wearing a wedding ring, Turn that ring twice, and then the next man you shake hands with will become your husband. <laughs> what nonsense. What's <laughs> <laughs> word for it then? You lost, mister? You all right there? Holler. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte, Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him, but it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Right here. Come on. This way. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? I'm scared of them. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. What are you oh, doing, well, Cleet? No one as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? What are you up to, Cleet? Hmm. Yeah. Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, I taught him how to save a guy's life. That's Baron Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. I feel like I'm getting my money's no, worth. Here's yeah. a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Whoa. Model on a famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You have been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics <laughs> here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? You guys are creeping me out. Yeah, dude. Come from, Mister. Look at them fine steeples. Come on, Arthur. 
Arthur. Where's LaShonda? Chase a kid. I'm calling LaShonda and it won't let me. Oh. What the hell? Kid. Oh, cause like, I mean, that guy didn't have control. He didn't have control of that guy. No horses here, okay. Arthur, uh -huh. you're supposed to have better instincts than this. He grew up doing griffs. Yep. Among con men. And he didn't see that a mile away? You better stop right now. He's taunting him and everything. <laughs> Me too. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through Whoa. here? <laughs> yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Thanks a lot, mister. You better stop right now. Hey, move on. Keeps on flicking my view over the right. It's making this hard. Left. And I go like this. This will be easier. Yeah, that looks easier. First person view is hard. I hate this kid so much. Oh, fuck. I guess. Dude, I'm gonna kill you so bad, it's gonna suck for you. <laughs> like a lot. Oh, I'm so mad! Why are you waiting? Why are you, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> I'm old. You've emasculated me enough. us to yeah the... yeah this part. Give me my thanks, boy. what are you talking about friend i ain't your friend but that kid is he robbed from me now give me back my stuff and take me to angelo bronte senor bronte the kid was gonna show me before he robbed me <laughs> Ow. come on you new in town mister who's this guy Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. That's what we're He's trying to do. a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yo. Now, get out of here. That was nice. <laughs> Just gave me the equivalent of a million, half a million dollars back, these guys. I'm surprised at that. Yeah. Do you think they pocketed a bunch of it? Yeah. They didn't. Oh, shit. I got it all back. Once again, wow. I gotta say, like, it's so surprising. Dutch and the gang, how they just seem to have such bad instincts. Yeah. 
like they just went around like I swear on the last episode Dutch said to be low profile about it and yet clearly both of them went around town not being low profile yeah. Just and clearly, like calling his name. he's got little birds all over yeah. town, and he already knows we're here asking about him. For all we know, he's the most evil asshole ever, and he's ready to kill us or something. And the yeah. kid's already been killed long ago. Get yourself some real food, huh? Get some corn through Ooh, all the wasabi's at the bottom? That's real kind. I lost enough money, babe. You gonna cough? I know where a good game is. Above the gunsmith. That's good shit right there in the end. Yeah. That's the best part. <laughs> the gang doesn't do low profile in a nice in any situation? Yeah. It seems like it. Why do you think I would like that? No. <laughs> that was very sweet of you to offer that. Swill. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> that guy's poem was awesome. Yeah, it's pretty good. Fraser was drinking this like Caesar type drink that had wasabi in it. Sorry about that. What? You are an angel. What? She said sorry to me for me bumping into her. You should greet her. her. Hello. You know what? I'm feeling good today. Well, that's good. Anyway, I love you. you don't Will you marry me? Uh, <laughs> so I bet if she lonely. was running a shop, she would. You would go up with your coins, so and she would come back, and she would. She would count them, count them out them for all me, out and tell you what you could buy. <laughs> I just wanted someone to be kind. That's all I've ever wanted. Mm. Around, like I would like walk around. Anytime in public I bump into someone, I say, like, if somebody bumps into me, I say I'm sorry. And the amount of times that someone says nothing back really started to fucking wear on me. Yeah. Like, I'm getting a twitch in my eye just thinking about it. I would go into, like, we, we would talk on the show a lot about how I didn't like to go into public, and it was because... It's, in North America. It always just felt like I was just always experiencing the worst of everybody. How do you do? Part of the reason we're here in Japan is it's the exact opposite. Everywhere I go, I'm just so tickled by like how polite people are and like they're just being fucking decent humans yeah. to each other. I love it. People are very It makes kind. me so happy to be outside and among and people. And we're like the luckiest, in the luckiest situation because we don't have to commute. You don't have to, yeah, Japanese can be bad. Yeah. It's during the commute. It, all bets are off. I literally saw a kid once just like punch an old guy in the arm because the old yeah, guy Yeah, that like, was a particularly him. piece of shit kid. Yeah. Though. Yeah. And the old guy didn't even turn around. Because, <laughs> like, like, yeah. I mean, the commute here in Japan, people doing the grind, the rat race. Yeah. It's kind of like an unwritten rule that you're going to get shoved and bumped. It's just how they make their way around. It's still super efficient, the shoving and bumping, but like... Yeah, you like go like this whenever you want to get through, to cut through a crowd. So if someone has their hand up, you kind of get out of their way. Did I just break into his house from the top? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is just the saloon again. Oh, well, maybe it's across from the saloon that I want to go see him. Is you a little saloon? Shut up. Hello, sir. Is that the big house? No, no, that's the square. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. 
Hello, bonjour. Oh, Dutch. Hey, buddy. Where have you been? Getting robbed? Who by? <laughs> Bunch of children. Oh. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. <laughs> Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Now, good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that bullet back. Do we want John yeah, in this say situation? That. Feels like a little bit delicate to yeah, me. Yeah, maybe we grab C. Yeah, where's C? Which I like less. The swamps of the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Oh my god, I love it. The joys of civilization, mission complete. Alright guys, take a break and we'll be back after this with more Red Dead story and finding Marston's kid.